guys and you're welcome to class today. My name is Tolumi Abiola Oyediji and I am your fashion teacher. You're welcome to class with me again. It's so good to be back here and today I want to teach you something special. I want to teach you something nice. I want to show you how you can make a really really fly outfit and um, I've got a picture yeah, you know coming on the screen it's a really nice outfit and then it's something that everybody can rock young old you know you can rock it you can rock it anybody can rock it you can make yours short mini maxi you can make yours to be anywhere you can rock it into the sewing pro so what do you need to create this you need um, your fabric you need about two to four yards of your fabric depending on the length of your dress whether you're making a short one or you're making a long one it um, also depends on your size whether you are a small size or you're a plus size all those things will determine how much of the fabric you need so that's what you need to um, cut this so let's go into the cutting room and then cut this together and create this magic so we've come to the cutting part of this video where we're going to be cutting our fabric so um, we've got over the measurements needed um, you need to measure the the, you need to get the measurement from the center of the back to where the sleeve stop which is what determines how much fabric you're going to cut and how you cut the fabric so which is the first thing that you're going to do so when we did ours like I showed you or like I've shown you we had 26 so it basically means we need 26 in four places but to the 26 inches we need some sewing allowance that we're going to be using to take the edges so really we're going to have um, 27 at the end of the day so basically I need 27 in two places for the front and then 27 in two places for the back so I need um, 54 inches for the front and then 54 inches for the back now um, if you um, look at this fabric it's got some patterns in there so I may want to try to follow the patterns in this uh, fabric if um, if it's possible but if it's not possible i'm just going to go without following the fabric following the pattern but it would be really nice if this part of the pattern can just be right uh, on the center of the front so i'm going to try to um make it be that way so um when you have to do that i'm going to fold this fabric in the center i'm going to fold the pattern in the center so this is the pattern and this is like the center of the pattern you may want to mark the center of the pattern with the chalk so this is the center of the pattern if you're not sure where the center is you can um, you can take your tape measure and measure so measure the radius which is three and a half of an three and a half inches so half of it will be one three quarter which is the place where i have marked here so one three quarter is where you fold from so we're going to cut the first piece for the front and then the back is not so it may not be so necessary for you to follow the pattern on the back if um, you are not really able to because most times when you have to follow patterns you see that you use more fabric than you will use normally it, you tend to um kind of waste fabric when you have to follow patterns because like this one normally will have started at the edge here but because we wanted to follow the pattern we have to fold in the middle so it wears fabric so if you don't have a lot of fabric to work with then you may not be able to um, you may not want to follow the pattern so we said we need 27 in two places this is folded already so we are just going to mark the 27 inches so this is the 27 inches that i'm marking so i'm just going to measure from top like that all the way 27 inches different point all the way 27 inches so that is 27 inches then you need to take your ruler if you've got a ruler join it together so this is the long joint together and then I am going to cut. So yes, this is the first part done. So I need to get the same thing from this second part. So this second part needs to be folded into two and I still need my 27 folded into two. So this is my back piece, I have cut it 
this is it and I'm going to be placing my front on it. This is a bit more than 27 so when I place my front on it I'm just going to use it to, um, to um, trim it and then be sure that it's all the same. So, um, oh it's exactly the same. So yes, I have got um, my two pieces. So remember that what we have done is cut 27 in two pieces for the front and then 27 in two pieces for the back. So we've got 54 folded in two. So this is the front piece and that is the back piece. So now that we've got that and we've got um, the center aligned and looking pretty, the next thing we're going to do is um, check out the length of the dress. The length of your dress is important. You want to decide if you want a mini dress, if you want a knee length dress, if you want a long one, if you want a short one, if you want ankle length. So this is where the length matters. Um, for this, we're doing a short dress and um, the length of this dress is 37 inches. Now we're going to need some allowance on the lower part to fold it about one inch and then we need some allowance on the upper part to join it together, say another inch. So we're going to be cutting 39 inches. So we need 39 inches. So I'm measuring from the beginning of the fabric and this is the 39 inches that I've marked here, 39 inches. So I'm just basically measuring 39 inches and then cutting. So yes, I've cut the length. This is my 39 inches in total. And then um, we've got our length all set. The next thing we're going to do is try to shape the neckline. We're going to shape the sides as well. And we're going to shape the shoulders. Now to shape the neckline and shoulders, we should be used to this by now if we've been following previous videos. From the center of the front to center of the back, you mark the first three inches and you chalk it. This is three inches and then eight inches. Then on that point, measure one and a half inches down. Join it together, join the lines together. And then you take it all the way down with the ruler. All the way down with the ruler. Now you're going to use a ruler to join this point to this point. And then while you still got the ruler on the fabric, just extend the line all the way down. So that is what we have for this. Now you decide on the neck length that you want and then how do you determine the neck length you measure? You measure the neck length you want. If you're not clear on measurement, please watch previous videos and you see how um, I took measurements and how I measured the neckline. So for this dress, we'll be using 8 inches for the neckline. So this is 8 inches here. And what we are doing is a v-neck. The width of this neck is going to be 4 inches. So we've got 3 inches from ear to ear and then we're going to take the remaining one from ear. So this is the 4 inch point. This is the 4 inch point and then we are doing a v-neck. So this is a v-neck. So you see the v-neck? This is the v-neck coming from here to here is the v-neck. Now because you've done a v-neck in front does not mean you have to do a v-neck at the back. You can decide to do a different neckline for the back. Now I'll show you what I mean. So how do you work around this if you want a different neckline? So what you do, cut, do a notch, a little notch here. Don't cut it through. Now note that I've done the notch for the front and also for the back. Now I'm going to cut my neckline in the front only. I'm not going to cut the back. You see my front is done. Then now I cannot put the neckline I want for my back. So say I want a round neck for the back and I want it to be a bit high. Say I want it to be maybe 4 inches. So this is my 4 inches. And then I take it from here. I do whatever neckline I want. So if I want it to be a round neck, I have shaped a round neck. If I want it to be a V-neck, then I shape a V-neck as well. So I take it from here. Right. So now the neck like, neckline is done. We can now move to the side and then shape the sides. And then our dress will be ready and good to go. So now this is what we do. From the top, at any point, you have to measure 18 inches. From the top here, to any point, measure 18 inches. 18 inches here. You come here. 
measure another 18 inches 18 inches now I need to point this out to you when you're doing this you have to mark on the right side of the fabric it is important you mark on the right side of the fabric because you're going to be sewing on the right side of the fabric so unlike other times when I tell you to mark on the wrong side for this one you have to mark on the right side of the fabric so from here 18 inches then from the 18 inches you have to mark another 7 inches 7 inches 7 inches 7 inches from any point so I've got my 18 inches point here I've got 18 plus 7 inches point here so you can see this is 18 inches and this is 7 inches now this is where your bust waist and hip measurements where they come into play so for this we're using a bust measurement of 40 when you divide 40 by 4 what you have is 10 inches but to the 10 inches we're going to add half to the 10 inches so we're going to be marking 10 and half on this point so 10 and half so if I measure 10 and half from any point on the upper part of this, this is what I have, 10 and half. Now this 10 and half is going to be the bust line, 10 and half. So you see the straight line here, that is 10 and half. The straight line here is 10 and half. Then we come to the waist measurement. The waist measurement we're using for this is 34 inches. Now when you divide 34 by 4, what you have is 8 and half. And you add half to it, what you have is 9 inches. So we're marking 9 inches on this 18 inches line. So we have to mark 9 inches. So we have this. I will mark 9 inches. So on this 18 inches line, we have marked 9 inches and this is 9 inches and then you come to this 18 plus 7 line this other line that we marked take your um, hip measurement hip measurement we're using here is 46 inches divided by 4 that is going to be 11 and a half and then you add half to it you're going to have 12 so what we're marking on that line is 12 inches and this is 12 inches so we've done 3 this is um, the first line which is the boss line, this is the second line which is 9 inches on the 18 inch mark and then this is the third line. Now what do you do? You need to join the lines together. Now let's start with this waist to hip. You need to join it together like a gentle curve. Then from here, take a straight line. So whatever you have here, 12 and a half inches, you need to measure the same here, 12 and a half inches here.